Well, that's what's the crack. My name is RG Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. So, this is going to be the final episode in the series. Yikes, I should have made this video ages ago. I've been off work for about a week or so, but uh, I had other plans. I was playing a bit of Overwatch, uh, did a bit of traveling. No, no, well, not that much traveling. Went up to see my friend in a different part of Ireland, and that was about it. And I was procrastinating making any more videos until the last minute. <laughs> so, basically, yeah, I'm starting work again tomorrow for a few days. And, uh, yeah, this will probably be the only video I have somewhat prepped. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Whenever it comes out. Either way, let's go right into this game. So it's bound to be an explosive ending. Uh, I'm guessing this video is going to be kind of short. Sean? Yes? Why That's my name. build this? Well, you know. I think we already went through this dialogue, did we thing. not? Is there a wall like this up north? Nah. Not really. So, why did they build one here? Yeah, because Trump's an asshole? Know, Daniel. That sucks. Yeah, everything sucks. But, but the thing is, how are we going to get over it? Hmm, well, we can't climb over it. We can't get under it. I guess we'll have to go through it. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash? Or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us. Right? I know. It's gonna be super easy with my power. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Daniel. I taught you the power of levitation, not the power of construction. Oh, and the power of destruction. The complete polar opposite of construction. So what are we gonna do about this? Blow it up, maybe? Shit. I didn't think there'd be more than a barbed wire fence out here. Just want to do a small bit of exploring. How far can we go either end? Imagine if we could actually reach the mountains. That'd be kind of cool. There's no wasting time. We need to cross that wall. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go through it. But I'm pretty sure modders would have probably made a way to get over to those mountains or glitch out of bounds or something but I'm guessing you'd probably fall through the map where it's not solid and he was speaking of solid then do me solid and uh, demolish this uh, any time now so here we are Daniel the end of the road finally Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. I believe in you, Daniel. This will make for some great thumbnail material here. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah, Trump, your wall means nothing to Daniel. But come on, Sean, channel some of your brotherly energy into him. It's hard. Oh, you've almost got it now. I can't. It's all right. Take your time. Stay focused. Oh, you're doing it. that energy a little bit more all right that's enough Danny boy you're right to bro uh, almost it's okay he dies it's okay just breathe Shh. breathe That's gonna make for an epic thumbnail. We did it! Actually, maybe not that. Be too spoilerish. Shit up! 
<laughs> yes! <gasps> Yay, we did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! Oh, it's just more desert. It's all thanks to you. It's gonna be alright, Nim. We've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, oh man. So we're just gonna oh, drive in. I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean. Uh, what ocean? It just looks like more and more desert from oh, what I can man. see. Same scenery, different country. Okay, so, so how long the part to Lobos? I don't know. Only a couple of hours. You know what? You can ask that question once more. Once. Okay, okay. I just can't wait. Okay, I just wanted to do something. Now, now I'm in Mexico. Now I'm in America. Mexico, America. Mexico, America, Mexico, Dude, America, I'm Mexico, Nancy. America. Let's okay, I'll stop now. Oh man, do they sell those in Mexico? Sell what? It'll be. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Daniel! Daniel, talk to me. Daniel. Who the fuck did that? Talk to me. What some of a bitch did that? Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Hey, uh, oh! Uh, oh shit, Madison. I told you he was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Oh, come on. Daniel! More racial epithets. So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through. Right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> yeah, That's why not? That's fucking funny. Man, we're just Guys, American. It's not legal oh. to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Oh, who looks like a terrorist? Me? We look like terrorists. We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. Well, we can say it's not us, but that's that just a lie. Us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Porter Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. No. Still bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. Oh, man, don't this move. fucking sucks. Oh. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Oh man, we're so freaking close! Please don't tell me this is a bad ending. Jesus! What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Manny. Do what the officer says. Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? Damn straight you're coming to the station. Uh, fuck's sake. What I say? Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Oh, this is bad. What? I'm sorry, are you Sean? Uh-oh. 
Sean Diaz? Oh, shit. <laughs> You're under arrest. Oh, no. Why? And I was really beginning to like that cop, too. So we're in Arizona, 6 a.m. the 4th of July. Ooh, Independence Day. Yeehaw! Thank God I don't have a bigger fan base because if I did, I'd probably be strung from the rafters. Oh no, we're in one of these camps. Oh no, it's a prison cell. Never mind. Hey. Don't look at me. Hey, yeah, fuck you, bitch. The sight of you it's sickens me. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es, um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Um, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave... Una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. No hacen daño a los niños. Well, she certainly hurt the kid. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. Dude, you two vigilantes are freaking gross. Hell, I wouldn't even call you vigilantes. You're just fucking sick freaks of nature. Like, why, 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 why? You're hunting down people like a bunch of fucking animals. So tired of all this shit. Thanks. I'll remember that. Get high on life. Alcohol, nicotine, and cannabis are not your friends. Nothing can replace the euphoria of a healthy body and real friendships. Reach out for help today. Getlife.on Ah. Yeah, okay. But there's nothing wrong with a bit of alcohol and nicotine and, and a bit, bit of... From time to time. Not that uh, I'm saying people should do it. Is there a watching the kids? Uh, no. Nah. He worked a double shift today. His sister's got him. Good. She's a good kid. And she's more patient than your husband. Gotta speak to this lovely couple again. See what else they have to see. Stay. No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Uh... Trying to reach me. Oh, trying to reach Mexico. Yes. In realidad, um, queremos llegar a Mexico. Uh, Mexico. No mames. Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí. Nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Uh, when asked them, por qué? Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, la violencia tiene muchas formas. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos podido quedarnos... Nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Uh, 
Not, not in El Dorado. What? what? Los Estados Unidos. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. No es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México. No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Eh, I'm pessimistic. Well, I suppose it's getting a bit better. Let's not be too pessimistic now. Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. Your country. We come here to work. Not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. Bullshit. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Yeah, you're generalizing, you son of a bitch. I, I hate that. I really, really you're do hate that. generalizing. Not all immigrants cause trouble. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. Lots of them do. Our prisons are full. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's if I don't all step we're looking for. <laughs> that's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. Yeah. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See, you love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite oh. have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? Oh, I'd see? knock her the fuck out. There you go. Take it easy. This is Siente our country. Dinero. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Seriously, I'd have knocked her the fuck out. No vale uh, whether you people lack it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too. Loser. Oh, I'd give her a break. I'd break her little arms, I'd break her little, ne her little legs. Because there's just one thing I hate. I really hate fucking racism. I don't understand why, why people have to be racist. Down here with them? You know us. I don't give a shit. Been, you hey, you have the right to remain silent. So fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Hmm. You know, I didn't think it would quite play out this way. I, I, I thought this would be cut and dry okay. that we just uh, let's move it. Bust across the border somehow and just be on our merry way. But evidently not. All right, sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. Okay, good. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's alright. Just don't want to 
try to break the handcuffs unless they're very cheap. Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. But, you know, while I did think oh, some of the racial undertones were a bit over the top, oh, my God, I mean, scrolling through YouTube, mess. watching like videos about Cairns and whatnot, and whatnot, uh, sorry. It is a, actually a very sad situation, like where people try to justify being racist and are racist. Not. Like I, I, I don't get it. Like, like how do people rationalize being racist? Like how do people rationalize like uh, demeaning someone on the basis of skin color, nationality, uh, religious beliefs, or uh, whatnot? No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. We're going to Got it? Hello, officer. How are you doing? Ma'am, relieving me of these cuffs? It's beginning to chafe. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Okay, what's the rap sheet looking like, hmm. officer? Okay. Daniel, seriously? No. Yeah. Shit. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. You gotta prove I did it. At least it'll keep me up. And there's no fingerprints, no nothing. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Assaulting a gas station clerk. Okay, he had it coming. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada... And its leader is found dead short after. Hmm. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. Okay, now I can explain. Let's see if we can it tell him the truth. It crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. Wait. She spoke to your mother. Didn't... Who took responsibility for the church fire. We were speaking to her before, weren't we? That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey, it's not up to me, kid. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? Because, well, I doubt, given the state of things in America, nobody would have believed it. No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. Oh, thank God. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. Don't you mean behind bars? You still get a life. Uh-oh. You've awakened a beast. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff I mean anywhere you went something blew up coincidence seriously how <laughs> I 
<laughs> we'll just say we're super villains for shits and giggles, just what to see what happens. What do you want happens. me to say? We're super villains. We can't help but destroy shit. Yeah, right. Uh, I, I bet the judge will love this. Maybe he'll give you special treatment. Whoa! What is that? Uh, hey, sir? I don't think you Keep should. Keep your ass in that seat. Oh, damn. Damn, Daniel. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Dude, who cares? I took care of the others as well. Let's go. Yeah. Can we save these two, Daniel? Come on. Who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. And got thrown in jail for it. Asked for these assholes. The They're the ones who tried to shoot you. Really? Bet they deserve a lesson. <laughs> sure. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in a hospital? You assholes deserve a lesson. You know that? Oh, yeah. And you deserve to be on this side of the bars. So what? Come on. Let's get out before the fucking backup gets here. Okay, we'll free the couple. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí until I check this out. Oh, of course. What? Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Should we free these guys? What the fuck are you? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We will. We'll be generous. Daniel. Can you open our cell? After what they did to me? No way, Sean. Gracias. You're right. Never mind. Oh. Huh. Ah. Sir, you're Should right. We try to make peace with these morons. No, we. They don't deserve it. That's what he gets, right? Well. Uh, no. I think he took it to. Count. A very dark place. I, I hope you just knocked him out and didn't kill any of them. Okay, hands oh, up. Shit. Uh oh. Don't, don't, move. don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait, Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Um. Come on. Get rid of them. We will shoot if we need to. Understand? Fire consumption. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should I take care of this? Don't yeah. do Fire anything stupid, kid. What's going on? Oh shit! That that didn't do anything. Throw that locker. Oh. Idiots. They should have known better. Yeah. Oh, dude. Now, let's fail. I Sean, did not I mean to hurt them. Names are in there. I did hey, not mean that. Hey, what did you do? You fucking murderer! Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. Um. Should we? Take any of this? really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Well, you could take that rifle. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. And what about the bag? Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Uh huh. There's probably more of them coming. Let's Look hope. at that. Crime Central. Come on, Sean! We gotta go! Okay, okay, jeez. We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. It freaks me out when he... 
Oh, look. Exit. There we go. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay. Go. Go. Oh, look, there's a Let's car. Roll, All in one piece. Kind of feel bad for those police officers, but at least the one. Because he seemed at least somewhat friendly and understanding. Nobody is chasing us. Not yet. Emergency! This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. Fourth of July. Yeah, America Day. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He was so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Okay, and I guess that's the end of this bit of dialogue, at least for now, but... Oh, no, more coming up. Now, imagine if they managed to repair the wall in, the, in what, the space of a few hours? Shit. Uh oh. Crap. Uh, this is terrible. Sean, we can't let them get us. Uh, no, it's not. No, we're just gonna slam it into reverse. All, oh, maybe not. I mean, you are kind of a moron taking the main road. I mean, what do you think was gonna happen? You know that, Dave. In Seattle, the date Dad was shot, I think about it every day, and I would give anything to change what happened, but I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. But you are the one with the real power, and you know how to use it now. You're not a kid anymore. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will be strong. Be brave. Be a fighter, Inano, like you already are. Don't say that. Why don't you just get out of here? Please, don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I hate promises. 
And you're also super wolf. How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Step out of the car. Now. Oh boy, it's decision time. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. This is going to be a very hard one because I'm not sure if the decisions I've made up until this point will affect the outcome either way or in a major way because it seems like even the most minute decisions in the dialogue, the way we raised Daniel from the beginning, the way we raised him to use his powers, it has affected the dialogue a small bit because I have been watching other people's let's plays of this only up until the point where, where I've played just to see what decisions that they've made and their decisions have affected the game or at least uh, the dialogue, the storyline in very different ways, in more ways than the first Life is Strange game. Because it seemed in the first Life of Strange game, there was really only one or two dialogue options that might ever so slightly uh, turn the needle in either direction. But but here, there seems to be multiple uh, di different um, outcomes or multiple scenarios. Like kind of a real butterfly effect. I know the first game had that as well, but not to the extent of of this one. So I'm not sure if I surrender, will I be damned, or if I or if I cross the border, will I be damned? You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. Okay. Um. Yikes. Decision time. Yacht. Fuck it. We'll cross the border. Let's do it. They make it to the other side. Be careful. Get your head down. Uh oh. Oh, so you're going to, uh. Just stay, John. Just get out of the car. You're going to blow them away, aren't you? Oh, this is going to be good. What the fuck? <laughs> You're going to get it. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, he generated force field? I did not know he could do that. For how long can he keep it up? That's the question. Oh, get wrecked. Although I think the screams and the grunts were a bit overused or reused. Uh, what you gonna do now, Denny boy? Gonna send him flying across the border as well? Okay, that was a bit overkill, I think. Jeez, I sure hope we didn't kill any of them. Go now. 
Oh, who am I kidding? I'd say quite a few of them are dead. Oh well. We went for a complete and utter annihilation that time. Utter annihilation, sorry. So what, they can't touch us now because we're in Mexico? I don't really understand how the United States laws work. Like, if you commit a crime in America and you flee to another country, like Mexico, like, do you get, um, do you just get protection from that country or, or what? Whoops, I, I hit my microphone, sorry. Oh, Puerto Lobos. Well, let me guess, this is a, a card we sent to, um, what's her name? Anya, Alia, Alaya? No. I forget. I forget her name. Definitely began with A. That for sure. Oh, okay, so these are drawings. Actually, one thing I want to do, I just want to turn up the music another teensy bit because it doesn't matter either way, the video is going to get claimed. Like, I'm not making any money, money of these, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. Oh, the Brother Wolves. That's actually quite awesome. I wonder, like, is there a bit of a, a time skip here now? Like, are we now adults and living our best lives or what? Local gang hideout raided by another gang. Two casualties. Wait, did we join a gang? Oh, no, TS Repair Shop. Did we learn to trade? Like or that? We, we must have. That's uh, kind of cool, but... Is that dirt or blood on the window? Well, six years after the events at the border, Ah, so that would make Daniel 16 now, because he was 10, and I'd be, what, 20, 21, 22? Okay, so let's get a look at ourselves. How have we aged? Okay, slightly taller, I think. Jeez, we haven't aged that much. I was expecting a beer and a goatee. No way is that... Uh oh. Wait, is that... Oh, that's Daniel! Show him out. Jeez, Daniel looks so much like Sean when he's older. I'll give him a bitch slap.
Yeah, that's right. Run, you bunch of pussies. Sean looks completely different. Daniel looks the same as Sean when he was 16. I was convinced that was Sean right there. Oh, we're raking in the big bucks now, are we? Sweet. Then again, I suppose the red bandana on his wrist should have been a dead giveaway because we give that red bandana to our dog. Before, uh, before she got killed. Seems Sean has got a bit of a black glass eye. That's kind of a cool look. Yeah, well, it's good to see that everything's worked out for them. Uh uh. Shouldn't be smoking. That's bad for you. See, Daniel is the smarter of the two. He doesn't smoke. Yeah, that's that PSA to kids. Don't smoke. He's bad. kind of a feel good ending but kind of inconclusive like there's so many questions now like what happened to our mom what happened to our friends what 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 happened to uh, Daniel's sort of girl crush what was her name Alia Alia I, I, I know what it ended in H oh Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Wolves. Uh, kind of dissatisfied with the ending, to be honest. It, it was a very good story overall, but this particular ending, I didn't really like it. It sort of ended on somewhere between a high note and a low note. Like, there's no uh, real conclusion, but what I would like to see, what would be a good crossover... I'd like to see Chloe and Max meet Daniel and Sean and see if they could somehow change um, change their current, uh, their present to see would Max have total control of her powers to rewind to before when uh, Daniel's and Sean's dad got shot. That would actually make, ugh, sorry, that would actually make for its own pretty damn good game. But I'm, I'm guessing there'd be like a lot of storyboarding, uh, it, a lot, a lot of uh, story to, to figure out, and you know, be be a whole mess in and of itself. But it's something that I think would make a very very good Life is Strange game. Uh, I wouldn't even know what know what to title it. Life is Strange Redux, maybe? Yes, yeah, so, so, something like that. Just to see uh, two worlds uh, collide, even though uh, all the Life, Life is Strange games so far, they're all in the same same universe, so... Uh, whatever, but the game in general, it was great. I, I loved it. It was definitely a huge... Um, a huge stepping stone from the last one. It was... In terms of both visuals, storyboarding, character development, everything was, about it was almost 100 times better than the first game. And it gave us, uh, we were sort of riding in the back seat, um, well, 100% of the time we were riding in the back seat. So instead of like playing as the main character who has the powers, we were actually the guiding light, the, the, the teacher in, the, in this respect. We were teaching Daniel how to, how to use his powers, how to control them trying to teach him right from wrong 
So it, uh, but in that regard, I think we went down a bit of a, a dark path there, especially when we were just killing officers at the end, left, right, and center, or, or center, and or at worst or at best, knocking them out. So I think there might be a better ending than this. I'm I'm not sure, but to get like the multiple different endings, you have to play through multiple times. It's not something I'm going to do on the channel, to be honest. It's something I'll do in my own time. So what I'll probably do is uh, what I always do. I'll pick this up in the PlayStation Store, play through it, get the Platinum, see the different endings for myself, and uh, just appreciate it in that sense. Because that's what I did, but Life is Strange 1, I platinumed that, I, I think. Yeah, I did platinum it. I, I got all the trophies for it on PS4. And yeah, it was, it was good to replay it through. That's the great thing about this game replayability because there's so many different options uh, so many different ways to go even though it's more or less a straight shot you're going from point A to point B like just see the different dialogue options to see how it all plays out to get the what if scenarios that is um, replay worthy it has great replayability in that, in that sense I've probably just repeated myself over and over again but yeah overall I did thoroughly enjoy the game I did not expect this outcome though I thought, um, like most of my videos, when I get to the end, that it might only be about maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and we'd have some sort of feel-good ending li like this. Again, not really feel good, not not really feel bad. Again, it's a ha happy medium of the two, is what I'll say. But, uh, yeah, so I am going to get into Life is Strange through colors at some point. No timeline as to when, but I do have it here. I do have it here for the PS5. I picked this up. Two months ago? Three months ago? I just saw it in Smith's. It was like 20 euros. It was the cheapest. Actually, no, wait. I didn't have it in Smith's uh, at the time. I ordered it off Amazon for uh, roughly around the same price. But it does look promising. The visuals, from what I can tell, look slightly better. Again, because this is what Unreal Engine... I'm not sure if it's Unreal Engine 4 or 5, but... As you know, the Unreal Engine is good, but again, at, at the same time, it's using its own unique dynamic artwork, so I expect more or less the, the same sort of imagery that I'm used to from the first two slash three games, if you want to count Life is Strange Before the Storm. That's more like DLC than anything else. It didn't feel like its own game. It was a bit too... Uh, b -b 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 Amber... What's her name? Rachel Amber eccentric that that game was but uh, yeah yeah um, to be honest I think I'm, I'm rambling on too much yeah I'm done I'm done okay you know you know what I think of the game I think it was great you should pick it up on whatever console platform you have switch Xbox PC PlayStation uh, Android iOS I'm I'm not sure I know it's I know the first Life is Strange game is on Android, but I'm not sure about Life is Strange 2 or any of the other games, but, um, yeah. So, guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy the series, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And, of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.